This is my four-year-old 4x8 four folding trailer from Harbor Freight. Today, I'm gonna change out the wheel bearings. Then, I'll clean up the old wheel bearings and I'll show you just how well those chintzy bearings have held up. But first, let's fold this thing up. start our project, these are the tools that we're going to be using. I've got my rubber mallet and screwdriver and a 12 inch crescent wrench. I've also got some brake cleaner and some emery cloth. I've got some pliers. I like to use my Leatherman. I've got my bearing packer and of course these are the new bearings. We'll talk a little bit more about these later in the video. So to get started we're going to pull this wheel off. Uh, the lugs on there are 13 16 and we're going to use the four way. Now I use a wheel spacer to keep the tire uh, from rubbing the frame. These are a little bit larger tires than the trailer came with. These are 13 inch Carlisle Radial Trail HDs. Now that we've got the wheel off, let's get this cap off. All right, let's get this cotter pin out of here. And the new kit comes with new cotter pins so we don't have to worry about that. Let's get this nut off of here. All right, so there's the castle nut. Then we've got our washer. And then we have the bearings. So castle nut, washer, bearings. Then we've got the hub assembly. And we've got on the back side, we've got the seal. And we've got the other set of bearings. So we need to get this seal and bearing off of the hub. So we're gonna set down the bearings. We're gonna put it back on there. And we're not reusing the seal or the bearings. So it doesn't really matter if we kind of booger them up a little bit. So to get this off, we're simply going to, we're gonna pull and ram off the bearings. And there they are. So that's got the seal, the bearing, and the nut, and the hub. Let's get these cleaned up in some solvent, and we'll take a look at these old bearings. While those parts are soaking, we're gonna clean the spindle up. We're just gonna use some brake cleaner and a rag. All right, there we go. And I like to dress the spindle with a little bit of emery cloth. If there's uh, any little imperfections in there, you can clean it up, but this one looks pretty good. So we're just gonna finish cleaning this thing up. The kind of grease that I'm using, I use marine grease on my trailer. And the reason for that is I also use my trailer to put in my flat bottom boat, so. I, it's in the water, so marine grease is definitely needed. I also use this handy packer. Uh, this handy packer works great for packing these bearings, and which we're about to do. Also, uh, these are the bearings that I purchased off of Amazon. I'll put a link down below, full disclosure. I do make a small commission. I also purchased a backup set of seals because I like to pack my bearings every year. So in the spring, before we get going, or in the fall, after I take my boat out, I like to pack the bearings. So if I mess up the seals, I've got a backup set. So let's get started packing these bearings. This kit has all four bearings. It's got our seals, new cotter pins, and it came with caps. That's pretty awesome. Let's get to packing these bearings. These are very easy to use, the handy packer. We're just gonna drop the bearing in there, just like so. And it has this conical head that we push down on there. And that's gonna push the grease right on up through. And let's get a close up of that. You can see the grease in there. 
and voila, one packed bearing. We'll start with the rear bearing. We'll put him in there. Take some of this grease. We're gonna fill this area. We're gonna take our seal. And a few wraps with the rubber mallet. Should do. Press them on there. Even though these have Zerk fittings, I do like to hand pack my hubs. Okay, let's get this last bearing in there. And let's go put it on the spindle. All right, we've got our hub, we've got our castle nut, and we've got our flat washer. The backside's already in. Let's slide this over the spindle. And we'll put on our flat washer and our castle nut. Tighten it up all the way, and then we're gonna back it off. There we go. And then we'll slip in the cotter pin. All right. And then the last thing I like to do is I do like to put a lot of grease in here because I use it as a boat trailer. All right, that's got it full with the grease gun. That's got the hub on there. Let's take a look at those old bearings. All right, there's the old bearings. We're gonna get a close up look at them. Here's my uh, owner's manual for my trailer. I have the 62647, which is the 1720 pound, heavier, dutier folding trailer. I bought mine in August of 2017, so it is uh, almost exactly four years old. This thing's been in and out of the water a lot because I use it for my boat. And let's get a close up look at these. We'll just dive right in. So this bearing looks pretty good. Probably could have repacked this bearing and got away with it. This one, kind of the same thing. Looks pretty good. Probably could have repacked those. This side, however, I'm starting to see a little bit of pitting on the rollers. The metal around it has a little bit of surface rust. And this set, again, there's some wear on that bearing right there. That roller's got some pitting. So four years, oh, it's probably time. Who knows, I might have been able to get one more year out of these, but with a little bit of pitting on the rollers, let's not take a chance. And for $35.99, why wouldn't you change these after a few years? Replacing wheel bearings on a trailer is really not that difficult. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe. And check out my other video on LED truck bed lights under the bed rail. I'm glad you watched, and I hope you'll watch again.